Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 148 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We're playing as Filkir Sigadar Ring, the immortal, insane, disfigured dude. Now, we're not at war, we are raiding a little bit. We're going to send these guys around here to raid. Um, it says Athens, but it's really just Bulgaria. Honestly, don't know why it's calling itself Athens at the moment. It's a bit weird. And we're also raiding in here just uh, because. Now, a couple of important factors. We do have nearly 100% fret, so everybody is against us, except for the rebels in here who have already taken some land off. So we're really just holding tight, raiding around the place, you know, that sort of thing. The other thing is we had a bit of an issue with trying to get rid of the Empire of Hispania. It won't let us destroy it because it says that the succession type is not it needs to not be gavel kind. Now, if we come here to the Empire of Hispania succession type, it's ultimogeniture. Fucking deal with it, guys. Now, there is no console command to just destroy a title. But there is one to change the succession type. It does say warning dangerous on it, but, you know, whatever. So it should be suck space and then we need to put in the type we're going to make a primogeniture because that's the safest primogeniture let's see if that whoa hang on that will actually change our main succession type so let's just consider that for a second what's our other one elective gavel kind all right let's see how this works i've always got a backup save anyway All right, so good news. That did actually change. That's what that little notification is about. We've got unlanded sons. So under ultimogeniture, unlanded sons give you a um, penalty to your prestige. It's not so bad a penalty considering we're getting so much, but you know, whatever. All right, let's have a look, see if we can do it this time. Hey, we're able to destroy it. So all the your vassals of the Empire of Hispania, that's why am I indicating with my finger all of these guys? We'll take a minus 40 opinion for a little bit with us. That's fine. Done. And now what we do is we come back here. Suck. Elective. Gavel kind. There we go. And that actually completely worked and didn't appear to have any issues. And now we're at absolute kinetic elective gavel kind, which is where we were previously. Um, I don't want to be primogeniture. I like elective gavel kind. It's fun. So now we're just going to let everybody quickly vote. I believe this guy was the normal guy anyway. So we will nominate Porvin. God damn it. Now I remember where his name was and it was down past T. There we go. Porvin. Wonderful. And he needs to apparently get married. So let's marry him to a lovely lady by the name of. Scold. No. Oh, he's his chancellor. Okay, fine. Whatever, bros. You do you. What is this? Uh, what are you chief of? Uh, Kasala. Yeah, no piss off. Alright, so good. That appeared to work just fine. And it's more just for housekeeping too. Like, I don't think it's got any... Well, it probably does have a bit of a benefit in that now these bits of Hispania might start converting to our actual proper empire of Scandinavia and we won't leave the map looking like utter shit. We are lagging a little bit though. Alright, we're done raiding this place. So we're going to head over to this place. We should have the supply to do it. So let's do it. 
And up here, our guys are still wandering around. Prince Tyke has enlisted with the Varangian Guard. That's totally fine. Yeah, we are getting a little bit of lag, so hopefully it has nothing to do with me changing the uh, succession type around a little bit. You see, we can still make the Empire of Hispania. That's an option, but, you know, we're not going to do that at all. I wonder if there's just a way to reduce threat. I didn't see it on the list, but you know what? I'm going to just go and do a quick control F of the wiki page. Threat. That's not even on this, so I don't know how up to date this shit is. It <laughs> last updated for version 2.4. Way out of date. Alright, that's cool. That's something we can maybe check later on, but you know. At the moment, I feel like getting rid of threat entirely might be a little bit too much. Maybe we can increase the value that it drops. So I seem to remember that 1% was like the most or something like that. I wish this place would hurry up and convert. Got a truce expiring of a guy in Uled Nail. That's fine because truces aren't really stopping us you know what fuck it i'm sick and tired of fret just do a quick google search uh, ck2 fret decay that'll do reducing fret by command console is that a thing apparently i've already clicked on this before so it must be Fred is the same as infamy, needs on refinement, want to reduce, etc, etc. Come on. Here we go. What have we got? Okay, that's the thing I've already done. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so there's a mod that just fixes that up anyway all right i think that what i'll do between episodes is go and modify that console like the um it's basically a config file so what i'll do in between episodes well at the end of this recording session which is the end of this episode is i'll go and change that so that it reduces at like 10 percent a month or something like that because this is really shitting me off like, I literally can't do anything right now except raid. Which, hey, that's all well and good, but come on, man. Cool. Um, I need to deal with that because I shouldn't have that temple holding. So, there. And then we come here and we say, you get a vassal transferred to you, and it's the Godi of Makala. There we go. We should be building things, though. Like that. Done. Okay, we're raiding this place now. Good times. Special tithe, excellent. Now we can build some more shit. Yeah, house skull training ground, do it. We haven't used our personal retinues for a long, long time, and that's cool. That's all right. Kind of intentional. Hey, somebody just left a defensive pact. Who? Was it this guy over here? Or one of these guys down here or something? Well, that's a revolt in there. Are these revolts? Oh, yeah, that's a revolt, all right. Probably these ones too, huh? Yep, those are revolts. So who left the defensive pact? The Malian? 
Yeah, he's only won against Byzantium. Well, I mean, good job. Good job. All we can do is a holy war for Timbuktu, but you know. Nice. It's interesting that he'd leave at 93%. Kind of weird. Yay. Oh, what's our next building? Stables there, sure. Stables there, sure. And let me guess. Yep, stables there. We've got a peasant revolt. Um, where you at? Down here. Only 3,000 dudes. That's quite handleable. Just by, um, those guys there, join them up there. Take me out of the fucking army. Uh, where can we attack into Borgone from? Can we attack from Tours? Yep, no problems. We can usurp some titles, Aswan and Alexandria. We're going to do that immediately. Well, not immediately, but we're going to take this one. Thank you. And give it to, I believe it was this guy. Yep. You can have a Yarl of Alexandria. Cool. And now we just need to wait on getting a little bit more money before we can grab the other one. All right, that's together. Just get a leader in one of your sides. Yeah, you'll do for now. Head on in. Good work. Keep looting. Oh, it looks like these shit kickers moved. That's all right. Do we have a penalty moving into... Nope. It'll take us a few days as well, so we should be able to get that in. There we go. And there's Aswan. So we'll steal that. Thank you kindly. And I believe we give it to this guy. Yaldem of Aswan. Congratulations. All right, we need to pick an ambition of getting a new wife because we lost that one. Um, real quick, can we award you guys Herdman yet? Awesome. Because, you know, we should have done that and it wasn't giving us the option like it isn't here. That's irritating. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves a new wife. Oh, good. Looks like the um, thing's still there. Let's just. Check. Nope. We go 14 and then 48. She's pretty good, though. She's 14. Which would make me Roy Moore at this point. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, My religion group. Great. Another 14-year-old. Fucking hell. Uh, quick. Got a 21-year-old, Badil. Ambitious, zealous. She's got a good line of stats, so yeah, you'll do. Uh, you're getting married to me. Done. Now, she's Norse as well, so that's cool. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you are now Merksmata. Can we make you a shield maiden or are you already a shield maiden? 
Why don't I have the option to do that? Oh, whatever. All right, good fight. That's done with. Get rid of them. This is over. Thank you. All right. Hello. What just happened? Looks like you're having a war. Oh, this could be quite a fortunate war as well. Athens, why are you attacking anybody? Okay, so first of all, he's defending against Basilius in his war to revoke a place. And he's attacking Poland to try and make Poland pay tribute to him. He's got 5.4 thousand. What are our warfare options here? Holy War for Athens. Holy War for Crimea. Holy War for Galich. For Kiev, Moldau, and the usual conquests. I believe Crimea is the big one there. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. Okay. Let's think about this real quick. And then immediately hit the go button. Can we get you guys down here? No, you've got to go all the way around. Wow, that's frustrating. You need to come down here. Well, I mean, it gives these guys time to finish up. I believe you also need a commander in there. Is that the center one? Yep, good. And you guys... Well, you guys can finish raiding. That's the starting point. What's this? Bohemia, Bavaria? Nope. Um, very good. Still raiding, um, and it's going to be a city, so it should be a little bit quicker. We'll just watch for the boats to come around. I'd like it better if it was part of this one that went crazy on him, but, well, what can you do? We do have to watch out for the actual Byzantine armies, though. Because, I mean, that could get devastating. Yeah, these boats have to come all the way down there just because there's, what, too many of them to get through the Dnieper? Like, if I can take it slow or something. Okay, it looks like this guy's attacking Medina. That's cool. Yeah, so these guys will start from this end and we'll get the other guys and land them on the actual Crimea. And hopefully that works out. Hopefully. Come on guys, just take the town already. It's time to move. saint thank you. Thank you. Now move. You're no longer raiders either. How can you declare war on her if she's my vassal? Who the fuck are you? That shouldn't be possible. And in fact, it's not. You don't have a war against her. What? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Come on, boys. Quick march it. Yeah, whatever. So there's obviously the main danger here in that the Basilius might win his war very quickly. Hopefully he doesn't. It'd be nice if he does not. Great, that practice range. Let's just head on over to Pittsburgh real quick. Um, 
the cape. Thank you. 17th of December. All right, you actually need to dock. Okay, you boys are on board. Let's head on up to the Crimean Peninsula. Got my wife Preggers. Still got it at 449. Oh, looks like we've got a few stabbers that we need to tell to uh, end all their plots. Stop it. He won't accept my offer. Well, let's star you for later, my friend. Basically, we can um, imprison him for his if we so choose to, for his um, gross disobedience. And we probably will, because he's got a very negative opinion of us. Yes, 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 yes. I know. I suppose I have two castles? Yeah, wow, that's a little weird. So we are going to try and power this, because if we don't, there's always the chance that he'll lose his other fight, because he is going to lose it. Come on. Thank you. But we still have to get through the actual castles first. Okay, we just inherited Kabalia and all of its shit. Which is, right, this one down here. Okay, who we got? First of all, I don't want to be in that army. I guess this guy. Congratulations. You're now the Jarl of Kabilia. For whatever that's worth. Oh, hey, can we change this thing yet? No, still one year. That's fine. This army comes over, we will have to destroy it. We can't have, or he can start his besieging, but we can't have him take shit, which we're trying to take. Okay, he is coming this way, that's fine. Wonderful. Yeah, he's coming onto the lower Deneb here. Punch it. Thank you. Move. I'm gonna have to wait for this one. Fuck off, fuck off. <sighs> What's happening over here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Good, looks like it was just a battle of some kind. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's still got four and a half thousand troops, so maybe. But this guy still has 50. No, he's got 61 now. <laughs> Jeez. Where'd you pull those from? I mean, in fairness, we've got 271,000, so, you know, he can go fuck himself. Yep, sure, whatever. Oh, we lost a trade post down there. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, my wife Badil is complaining about Moon being absent, so we're going to get her something. Um, some ruby earrings. That'll make her fall in love with me, because we all know that women love presents. Be that your presents, or the presents you buy them. Wow, that was uh, unexpectedly actually appropriate. Maybe. I claim no knowledge. Fuck off, Marley. Alright, I've almost taken this one, and when we take that one, we will punch through um, Bakshizare, because it's a little bit weaker, in that it's only got about 500 dudes behind the walls. And because then that'll allow us to come up here and look at the uh, lowered Nipir. Come on, one tick. There we go. Okay, grand. This child needs a guardian. Looks like the military for you, Pora. Okay, we had a few things get built. I think a tuna is yet again capped out. Perfect. And the other places we probably can't afford to build anything in. Alright, punch it. Done. So we're at 35%. Let's go. Are we going to take a penalty for this at all? No, we're not. Good, because we do actually have a proper land bridge. And you can see he started to bring up another army, which is good that we're attacking this one now because we can get rid of it. Oh, that one appears to be heading up to Perish and which is fine. Yep, fuck off on out. All right, we've taken over the siege of this place, which is great because it's already halfway done. We're going to punch it. Just like we're going to punch the rest of them. Okay, it's 64% and we got another siege victory over here. Um, and in fact, we're going to move like so. Now he's not going to move out of there in time. We will be taking a straight crossing penalty, so I don't actually want to engage him on that. So we'll just let him move out. And then we'll follow him in. Alright, how you doing in your war, mate? 54%. Not great. 4th of October, 21st of October, yeah. We can't do that interception, which is unfortunate. You punch, you can punch, good. Now you head up to Corsone. So we're at 86%, let's see if he'll accept defeat. He will, good. We offer him that immediately because there is always the chance that his war ends. So he does have to respond to that. And we'll do so in five days. We won, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, good. Pick another ambition. Um, it is going to be peace because, I mean, we are trying for that. Sometimes we just get a little sidetracked. So the good news is we now own the Crimean Peninsula. I don't know if we have the duchy. We, don't have, we shouldn't have the duchy title yet. And in fact, it probably belongs to this bloke. No? Cool. Can we take that duchy level title? Probably not, because that guy's probably still at war. Yeah. Which, I mean, wish you the best of luck, but I'm sorry to say you're probably fucked. Hey, that actually puts us in line for this bloke as well, but I mean, you know why we're not declaring war on him, it's pretty obvious. Gorm here is going to be our new Jarl, but obviously he's not Jarl yet, so we just give him everything. So it's lower to here, he also needs the Crimea. And Lucomarie. And I believe lower Don as well. Yep. Wonderful. 
Now, that's all well and good. You guys are probably still... Let's just have a quick check of that. Yeah, so, yeah, everyone's still in that defensive pact, of course. You know, that's just how it works, really. Okay, but um, good going for us. Oh, the Teutonic Order's racked up up here again. Uh, you know what, guys? You guys can come down here to the boats. And I'll send you somewhere else. But these guys can go raiding again. And I'm going to go dump them in that place. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it. Okay, let's just go through the list here again real quick. Because you never know who's stabbing who. Right, this is a guy who won't do it. Is he the only one? Yep, he is. All right. So we're going to unstar him, and then see if we can imprison him. 3% chance. What do you own? Yardim of Galatia. He's very murderable. Yeah, he'll get over it. Let's send him some money. 79 bucks. And now end your damn plot. Thank you. Don't care enough to like actually have him shanked. Okay. Everything is looking fine. Obviously, apart from the whole, uh, you know, what's it? Part of me wonders if we should raid Byzantium, just because it'll be funny. Also, because there's not too many other targets. I mean, where would we raid? Go over to Bohemia. How are you guys doing? 14,000? Yeah, I doubt you're going to get all of them together. Hey, can we come up with, like, the, um, the Danube? Nope. Hang on, we better actually select our army. No, looks like we're too big to go up the Danube. Um, I'll tell you what, then we might raid the southern half of Bohemia. Let's just head over here. You guys can pop up there, and everybody will be happy. That will be the end of the episode, however. Um, as mentioned, I'm going to look into turning down fret, because I don't believe that there's an immediate way to reduce it, which would, you know, that'd be really a lot better. But whatever, I'm, I'll have a bit of research. Anyway, in the meantime, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves. Later.